I'm still paranoid uh, about it. That'd be so embarrassing. Hey, bud. How's it going? If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Take a seat. And if you're coming back to Vonte, I said we should kill time. Not kill Tim. Welcome back to another movie commentary and reaction. My name is Sam. Steph. And we're the movie buds. <laughs> Miss Congeniality 2. About time. At long last. I know. <laughs> the movie that was foretold in the time of before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry it took so long. A year? A little over. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we sorry. never meant for it to take so long to get to this movie. We didn't mean a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. The things. good news, though, is now we have a much better appreciation for Regina King. Exactly, yeah. I've seen you know. two other movies. Yep. So you have seen this. I have seen this. Um, but you, So you barely remember it. Yeah, I was really young. And I have never seen it. I'm just looking forward to getting back to Sandra Bullock and Willie Shatner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Shatner. The Shatman. The Shatmeister. <laughs> Wait, is Michael Caine in this? I don't think so. Disappointing. Yeah. No, they traded him out for... Oh. What's his name? I know this one because I saw it still. Yeah. And it had Diedrich Bader. Right. And I was like... Wait, why is Diedrich Bader here? Yeah. yeah. But he looked like he was playing the Michael Caine sort of mm, role. And I'm right. like, oh, okay, he must be the replacement. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, at least that's my guess. Mm, we'll see. Yeah, based, <laughs> oh, based on his appearance. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of <laughs> shit. Oh. As soon as I said that, I was like, oh, wait oh, a minute. Huh. I feel well, bad now. That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> What an asshole? Oh. <laughs> Short answer is yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Back to work. We do have Ernie, though. That's right. We do have Ernie. Good times. Hey, Ernie. I like this track. Right? Yeah, you know it's funny. I just watched uh, Night at the Roxbury the other weekend with Maria, all right. <laughs> and all I could think about is this, the glass yeah, smashing. Yeah. <laughs> she needs a man in her life. Yeah, where do you fit in? <laughs> Done. Rough. Real amiable, huh? That's three weeks ago. I've been amiable since then, and now I just really want to hit somebody. Wow. Fair enough. Three weeks, huh? Okay, let's go over this one more time. Usually they have bigger gaps. You knocked off nine banks in the past month. I don't know. Just in terms of like time skips between sequels. Oh, for movies. Mm, I for see movies, what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. No, you can't wear a swimsuit on this mission, right, Hawk? Wait, hold up. Were they referring to the last movie in that? Yeah. Oh. That, three weeks ago. Oh. What happened to world peace? Uh, comes and goes. I thought they were just referring to another mission. Nah. Oh. Yeah, because I assumed it was like a few years later. No, it's not. It's apparently three weeks after the fact. Okay. Yeah. All right. Control the big mama. Check your baby. Big mama. Seriously? <laughs> Aw, he's such a cute kid. Got his father's eyes cold, <laughs> dead, and lifeless. <laughs> uh, just uh, basic paperwork, and then I got company coming over. Your boyfriend Eric's coming over? It's not my boyfriend. We're just friends, you know, friends and co-workers. He's not in this one, the dude from the last movie. Right. It's so sweet. Two agents in love. Not suspicious at all. Yeah. Somewhat noticeable. Yeah. How old? 35. <laughs> You're that Miss Congeniality lady. Oh, yeah. Ye no. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not. Mm -mm, not at all. Are you on TV on the Miss United States pageant? Oh, my God. Shut the fuck up. Actually, right? Like, no, you no, know no, she's no, a no, cop. No, <laughs> wasn't that the whole thing? Gracie Hart? No, Gracie no, Hart? I'm not. I'm, she's Hart. FBI. Oh, my God. You yeah. fucking... <laughs> Okay. It's publicly known that she's FBI. Get down. Nobody Get down. Get down, I said. Get down. It's okay. Why would you just yell about that? I guess, to be fair, this is kind of the problem with being in the public eye as an agent. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. Get your hand out of the purse, heart. Probably why they don't generally like that. Yeah. Probably should have gone for an alias in the first one. Tell me where every other agent is in this bank. I don't think the name would have made the difference. You recognize right. the face. Alias. Makeup, different hairdo, <laughs> Make I don't oh, know, like anything, something. you know? <laughs> now! At least different hair. Yeah. There's one in the baby carriage. Ooh. Oh! Damn! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fucking get him. Get him! Get him! <laughs> get her, Sandra! Okay, nice. I, was, I was very worried about that gun she was holding. Same. <laughs> We're all good. Got her. Well, except the dude who got shot. He's not all good. <laughs> hey, he might be. In the vest. Just, oh, you got a vest. There you go. All right, all right. Oh, 
I'm assuming just the impact. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I'm just Kane. Cool. All right. Ah. We're all good. But I got something that's gonna make you feel a lot better. 602 555 Huh? That's Arizona's number. You couldn't tell me earlier. Oh, uh, I see. Excuse me. Isn't it kind of weird giving out other people's numbers? Would you mind? And also, lady, what the fuck? Are you fucking for real? Are you kidding right now? You, you nearly got her partner killed. <laughs> you nearly got yourself killed. Yeah. Man, advanced training, huh? Mm-hmm. Fun. Sir, um, about the bank. Uh, I don't know what happened. So you don't know what happened? You were there. Well, we all know what happened. You, you saw what happened. Yeah. This is some of the fan mail we've gotten for you since the pageant. Oh, my God. Yeah. Cards, chocolates. I'll uh, take the chocolates. Uh -huh. <laughs> sure. Dear Miss Hart, I saw you on the pageant, and the next night this horrible guy grabbed me, so I did just sing self-defense, and he totally backed off. Nice. Nice. You have no idea what it means to feel like you can stand up for yourself again. And there's the trade-off in having a platform. Exactly, yeah. You get to do some good, mm -hmm. hopefully. Sir, you're reading my mail. That's a class B misdemeanor. <laughs> I feel like she's being serious. Yes. <laughs> she, she's going to arrest you now. <laughs> you could be the new face of the FBI. Does the FBI usually want to have a face? I thought that was the opposite of what they wanted. Yeah. Um, I guess they were like, well, it seems like we have one whether we want it or not. So we might as well lean into it. Okay. Go home. Have a nice dinner. And think about it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's never gonna be the same, dude. Mm. If today was anything to go by. I could use a nice dinner, sir. Yeah. Well, oh. with time, you know, people forget. Yeah. Mm. You just gotta stay out of the public eye. Yeah. Though, you know, you, All right. You've gotta give people room to forget. Yeah. Ain't no smiling faces. Bud lights for two. <laughs> Ooh la la. Guys. I remember trying Bud Light when I was yeah. in Denver. How was it? Well, hello, Agent Matthews. Uh, I guess technically it was beer. <laughs> it met the requirements. <laughs> it counts. Filled out the criteria. Yeah. Do you know if the Poconos are in New York or Pennsylvania? Because I was thinking that maybe you could take a little drive down there. Why do you want to talk tomorrow? I mean, aren't you going to be here in like... 10 minutes? Is he breaking up with her over the phone? Oh no, please no. Oh well, I thought we were moving at kind of a normal speed. I, well, I don't need any more space. I mean, huh? oh wow. it's not like I expect us to get married or anything. It would really help if we could hear his voice. I'm guessing they just couldn't get him back for the movie. Nope. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting that impression too. Yeah. Well, well what is it? I mean, is it- To be fair, they made more of an effort than most do. It's the way I snort. I mean, because I, I, I don't have to snort. Bro. Is it the sex? Because- Oh my god. Because we don't have to have sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She's really getting dumped by wow. that guy? Wow, buddy. Earlier, I was willing to be like, he was alright, he grew a little bit, he could have been okay in this movie. No! <laughs> you know what? I have, to, I have to go. Stuck to the douchebag branding. Don't worry about dinner. I am. Um... My guy. Woo. Okay. Yep. I, yep. I was really not expecting that. I thought that, you know, he would just be on assignment for this movie or some shit. See, I thought that this took place a year or two after like, and they broke up in that time. That's kind of what I figured before I'd seen it. It yeah. just seemed, ah, oh, it's yeah, like yeah. three years down the line. He's mm. just in the past. No, this is three weeks later and he's already just said, nah, nah. Calling it quits, eh? What? Did she not do all your chores for you or something you know what you know what she can do better i know it's fine this is gonna be good for her in the long run yes <laughs> obviously <laughs> I was kind of hoping she would realize that, not yeah, this. Is she going to the... know that she's worth more than him now? Eventually. I hope so, but how long is it going to take? Wait, maybe that's the point. Of... No, I don't want that no, to be the point. No, that's not the point of the movie. I don't want that I'm pretty to sure be that's the point, point. Now, she knows her self-worth. Well, like... she's getting there. Yeah, it's for everyone. It's a work in progress. Yeah, yeah. we're all a work in progress. We're all one, yeah. Aww. Yeah, that's the kind of shit I'm talking about. That's that good shit. There are some problems with being known, but then there's stuff there's like some that. Some upsides. <laughs> right. Get the aggression out. Ooh, Regina. <laughs> All right, so oh, fuck, no. I guess what we're getting here is she's just Gracie 2.0. Pretty much. Yeah, okay. I'd really like to uh, talk to you for a minute. If she hadn't have gone into the pageants. Have you been crying? No. No. Ah! Fuck me. Leave the poor men alone. No. Nah. <laughs> you get on the mat. You know what you're in for. Transferred in from Chicago because of anger management problems. Ah, fair enough. Really? She seems like such a people person. She's gonna give you a king hit. <laughs> Come <Yeah>. on, man. <laughs> Given the fact that going out on ops has become problematic. 
problematic. I have decided to become the new face of the FBI. I really want to be a positive role model for women. It was the letter that did it. Oh, yeah. I feel like this is a great time. Dude, what the fuck? Anger management, very clearly. Point taken. Oh, yeah. No way you could have seen me standing there, right? No, she saw. Mm -hmm. Sorry. How about a real sorry? Well, okay, that's fair. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Come again? You heard me? You are about to feel some real pain if you don't back off. Hey. Wait, for real? Don't talk to me about pain, sister. You didn't just call me sister. Stop, don't recall skinny ass white girl at the table growing up. Okay, so Regina King here is just a dick? Yeah. First of all, Thank you for calling me skinny. That wasn't nice. Second, <laughs> you better apologize to me or I'll make me. Oh, God, the 2000s. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sorry. Take a shower. Come on. Uh. Take a shower. Hello? Walk away. Oh, my God. For real, though, I mean... Come here! Go on! You don't get to disrespect someone and then get mad when they're mad about yeah, it. Yeah, but she shouldn't have put hands on her. Who? Gracie. You were saying. Yeah. Gracie put hands on her first. It's a verbal conflict. Keep it verbal. That's fair. Positive role model for women, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to talk to someone before we schedule any appearance. Well, you know what? Yeah. There was some positivity She's in that. She's standing up for herself. That's what I'm yeah. saying. He comes very highly recommended. Maybe a little too much, but, yeah, you, know. you know. Just went through a makeover for the pageant. Baby steps. Yeah. Still getting hairspray off my butt. What? I just don't want to become FBI Barbie again. You can't go back in the field without putting yourself and other agents in jeopardy. That part of your life is over. Yeah. That is all that I have. You got to make a choice. Yeah. Would you rather sit at a desk to be out there boosting the Bureau's image? God, that's so rough. Would you make up your mind? Let me know. Yeah. But I like how it's showing kind of consequences. Yeah. From the previous movie. I actually like that too, yeah. Yeah. It really feels like a sequel. Mm. Like a good sequel. Is uh, Agent Matthews going someplace? Miami. He transferred out. He's going to be assistant SAC. Go to the top that boy. Hold on. Wow. Did he just get a promotion? I think so. Sir. <clears throat> Sorry. You know, I'll, I'll meet whoever you want me to meet. Good. Uh... <laughs> I see. Yeah. Okay. Man, that's such a coward move. If you gotta break up with them because of employment Whatever changes, the reason, just, just be honest. Just be honest. Just be straight Communicate. Up. That's fucking rubbish. Oh, I hope she's not a fatty. Oh. Um, Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, no. You will be my Mona Lisa, my Sistine Chapel. Yeah, that's Diedrich Bader. Otherwise known as the animated voice of Batman. How do you feel about a push-up bra? How do you feel about a genital shocking taser gun? You know that, like, 70s parody one from, like, seven, eight years ago? It had, like, ridiculous Aquaman. Oh, Batman the Brave and the Bold. That's the one. Uh, that's that Batman? Ba that's that Batman. What a difference. Yeah. Holy shit. I'm open to it. Oh. God. What? He's open to getting his balls tasered. Oh, okay. How about you? Are you open to becoming the face of the FBI? I did the pageant? I could do this. This is teaching a dog to become a butterfly. Not that you're a dog. Generally have smoother hair. Okay. Urge to slap oh, rising. No. no hitting. He uses her words, not her fists or a chair. <laughs> Chew with your mouth closed. You have ketchup stains all over you. She's like, nah, dude, that's blood. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I walked under a ketchup tree. No snorting. Wow, I love how they were like, hey, so what if Michael Caine's character wasn't likable. Yeah, he was just an asshole. Yeah. You are capable of great class and style. I also recently went through a breakup. I didn't go through a breakup. Some of the other agents told me about it. Gossipy box. You do as I say and you will make him regret it. People care about people who care about themselves. Is that true? That, that seems kind of true. I mean, If yeah. you care about yourself, other people do care about you. Yeah, true, yeah, it is He's true. not wrong. It's a confidence thing, yeah. you know. Not necessarily fair, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I mean, kinda. Self-care. Yes. You have to treat yourself like you're a star before you know it. I know, I know, I'm a big star. The runner-up at last year's Miss United States pageant. Ten months, eh? Well, this is, I guess, why we were thinking the movie is further ahead in yeah. time. Because all of this happened. Yeah, true. And, like, we did see the trailer. Also, I'm sorry, I just don't like how What's-His-Face broke up with her after she went back to being regular Gracie. Yeah. He saw her after the makeover and was like, whoa, oh my god, I never knew you could be this and beautiful. And then she just stopped, and then dressing, she stopped up. dressing up that way. And mm. then I was like, oh, I got a promotion. <laughs> I got a Go. I watched the patch. I bet you did, Regis. Every year, actually. It's embarrassing. Yeah. Shame him for that. Well, I don't know. Why is he oh, watching good it? good point. Good <laughs> point. My favorite part was the women's self-defense thing. Now I have someone who does it for me. Agent Sam Fuller. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, Oh, I no. See. Why? I'm guessing spite. Yeah. <laughs> but this poor man. <laughs> <laughs> she won't hold back. Grab her. She looks angry. She is. Agent Fuller has no place else to be. <laughs> oh. Rough. Solar plexus. Oh. Instep. Oh. No. Nose. Groin. Groin, no! <laughs> I love how we signed up for this and somehow wasn't expecting to actually get punched in the nuts. Come on, Regis. Let's get you up. 
Oh, he got up way too quick. This is something my girlfriend was just pointing out recently. Every time we see someone get punched or kicked in the nuts, they yeah. always get up after like a minute. Nah, you'd You're be like, rolling dude, around for a good half hour. You definitely cry. Depends how hard you actually got okay, hit, but it does depend. See, it's the sound effects they use though. Yeah, for they the make it sound impact, so much they make stronger. It sound like, oh my god, you like you, you just destroyed his, his nuts. nuts. <laughs> They're gone. They call her the <laughs> Nutcracker. <laughs> and as a special treat for knocking my husband around, I have a little surprise for you. Oh. What? Okay. God, that has such dark implications. Yeah, I'm really glad that we've moved past the uh, married couples hate each other joke. For the most part. Mostly. Yeah. Hey. All right. Oh, your lips yeah. Yeah. Do they named it after me. It's called Tracy. <laughs> Just a couple of highlights. A couple. <laughs> Who's talking? Miss? I'll never grow my bangs out. I love how they're oh just catching God. up. That's so great. Everyone else is like, um, we have a show to do. That's so cute. Yeah. What happens when best friends get together? Yeah. yeah. Wish we could have invited my best friend, Roger Coleman. He got hit by a goodwill truck. The fuck? Oh my God. My guy. This is not the time to bring it up. <laughs> Don't we have a commercial coming up? Please. Yeah, I feel you, Regis. Yeah. Makes sense. Hey, see, I'm sorry to interrupt. We have another taping in a half hour. Miss United States, such a joy to meet you. Oh, right. Because she won. You did. Yeah. Excuse me. Private conversation in progress. TikTok. Okay. Stay in your lane, buddy. Well, he's doing it. Look, Gracie is his lane. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah point taken. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I really miss you. And Eric. Um. Actually, Eric and I aren't Eric and I anymore. Yeah. But that happened very quickly. When? Oh, just 10 months. You guys haven't spoken in a while, huh? Yeah, no, they, they're catching up. Yeah, I didn't want to bother you. I mean, you're busy. I didn't want to call and say, we broke up. Really? That's what people do. That's what friends are for. My daughter would love you, John Hancock. What's her name? Lauren. And I'm pretty sure you don't have any other friends. Yeah. So... Oh, I just had to end it because he was getting, you know, really clingy. Oh, yeah. Yep. Fair enough. Yeah, but I'm fine. I'm that sucks. I'm great. You're lying about the breakup, so you're not great. Yeah. I could really go for a little tanning time. And you might want to reach out to your only friend. You're going to go for a little unemployment time in about two seconds, Mr. Fancy Pants. Maybe. Might be a good idea. Decent plan. Could you get me a Starbucks? I am dying for an iced venti caramel macchiato. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, she's not your assistant. Yeah, she's doing this on purpose. And get yourself a little something, too. Let me tell you when I'm going to get you an iced caramel macchiato. When they elect a black woman president. You'll be waiting a while. And if that happens, I'd also like one of those little muffins. <laughs> Where would you like it? <laughs> yeah. I'm sensing a little subtle hostility, and I think we should talk about it. You shouldn't keep things bottled up. What is your problem? I don't like you. Okay, well, if you antagonize the woman, yeah. you know she's doing it on purpose, which I kind of don't blame her for. Now, I let you have this job as a favor to McDonald's because no one would work with you because of your little attitude problem. See, this is the thing. If you weren't such a dick about it, she wouldn't do it. Yeah, you don't make it easy on the people around you either. Like, if you don't treat people good, how do you expect them to act? Yeah, Regina King is really really good at playing a massive dick though. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> Considering she's gone from amazingly likable to yeah. super not, you know. She's got range. Yeah. I love it. Come on, Come on who's next? So why do we have these fucking Wait, randoms? that's fucking- Oh my god. That's Nick Offerman. That's Nick Offerman. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Ron Swanson. Birthdays were invented by Hallmark to sell cards. Not here. <laughs> this is in his days. It's dirty Ron. <laughs> got my money? I'll ask. Excuse me, Highlander. Oh, you haven't seen the show. Nah. Ah, uh, I'll leave Character. You owe Mr. Grant 500 bucks? Get lost. Okay, well, for the audience, this is pre Duke Silver. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Ow. Yeah. Okay, okay. I got another one for you boys. Who's the mark? Hold on. This is going to be one for your scrapbook. I think that dude is from The Sopranos. Uh, as, yeah, uh, yeah, I haven't seen it. So. Richie Aprile. I've been watching it with, with Hazel. Lately. Oh, okay. Sure. Like, oh, it's Richie. Motherfucker. <laughs> and he plays a dirty gangster here, too. Tell me what skincare regimen you use. Catch as many felons as possible. Increase circulation really helps my complexion. Oh, all right. Okay, cool. I have to do a book report. I want to do it on your book because I want to be an agent too. On ya. Good for you. Hi, your name uh, is? I feel like she has- The other kids are doing their report on Beyonce or Britney. She's not done. Yeah. But if you come to my school and talk, they'd see why being an agent is so cool. Oh. Uh, I see. I would really love to. The agency's got me pretty busy. The problem is how many schools are out there? How many little girls in each little school? Exactly. But what you could do is just pull your hair up every once in a while. People care about people who care about themselves. Yeah, that's not the <laughs> advice this kid needed. No. This was you. You should remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. If you change your mind, PS 31, Miss Gordon's class. Yeah, she really needs to pay more attention, dude. Yeah. You're not writing it down. Yeah, pay attention to the kid. I can retain enormous amounts of information, PS 31, Miss Gordon's class. Well, at least she did remember. And don't forget.
get the hair tip. Try some bows. Uh, uh, okay. Lost your way a touch? I mean, I get it. Yeah. But. Sorry to hear what happened to Miss United States. Wait, what? What happened? Oh, shit. Oh, that's right. Cheryl Frazier was last seen outside this senior citizen home. There's a kidnapping. Oh, shit. Accompanied by longtime pageant host Dan Fields. We're forced into a truck by Sir, two are they hurt? Back. What demands have been made? That's what all we know for now. The director wants you to handle publicity on this. Oh, okay. Okay, well, at least she gets attached to it. Yeah, somehow. She could maybe attach herself further. Yeah. Get your beauty team assembled immediately. Oh, and I want you to have a bodyguard out in New York. Why do I need a bodyguard? You're going to be the hottest celebrity in Vegas. That would mean she'd have to go off the book. <laughs> Come like a renegade cop or something. <laughs> Fuller, I want you on a plane to Vegas with Hart. Not going. Did you just refuse an order? I'll kill her and I'll enjoy it. Oh, man. Lethal Gracie. I like the idea of her, like, becoming more out of touch. And mm. that's how they kind of set up her character development again. Yeah. It's different, you know? Yeah. It's just the same thing. Yeah, they give her new growth. Growth. Yeah. And growth that makes sense. Yeah, pretty much like the opposite problem. Yeah. You are this close to being gone. Yeah. Nobody wants to work with you here. I like to work alone. Then become a lighthouse keeper. Yeah. yeah. She's conceited and keep people off her. You don't get to work alone. Be a good bodyguard. I'll find your partner. Blow this. You're gone. That's that whole thing of being like, I don't care if nobody likes me. And by the way, I loved you both on Regis. Well, you will care when no one wants to work with you and yeah. you get fired. Like, literally no one like, wants to associate with you. Yeah. Stan Fields. Miss United States. States. You know what the pageant will pay to get her back? We hold her for ransom. I hold her for ransom. Bring her to my car. Leather fedora. Yeah. Buddy. I'm a little hungry. Dude, <laughs> are you serious? Moron, you can't handle this job. Don't call me a moron. I got a BA in fine arts and my brother Ha! <laughs> nice. Don't call me a moron. <laughs> <laughs> he tried. Yeah. You work for me now. Lou. I'm there. Oh, oh shit. Ah! Oh my god. Oh. And holy shit. Yeah, you know what? I thought they were kidnapping this guy. They're actually just like... Yeah! Oh, they're legit just gonna kill their own fucking boss? Threatening well, to yeah. kill. Let me up! Let me up! Damn. It feels like their threats are legitimate. Oh yes, very legitimate. Next time he lets go. You guys are crazy! Uh, who'd you think you were working with? People that he could push around, I guess, is what he thought. Mm. Now what? We do exactly what he said. We ransom her. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. I like the ambitious man of enterprise, Nick yeah. Offerman. Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. Buddy. Are you for real? My guns are in that Fendi. Could you fucking not? Yep. There you go. Please tell me you have tickets to see Cirque du Soleil. I'm your bodyguard. Donald thinks we have a bond because of our performance on Regis. You gotta be kidding. All great teams. Fred and Ginger. Outcast. <laughs> <laughs> the end must come. Bye-bye. You could have said Andre 3000 and Big Boy, but I'll take it. Sure. McDonald gave me a mission. That plane does not take off unless we're both on it. Don't think you're the boss here. She was given a job. Yeah. But and still, she keeps doing this thing. Boss gave her those orders, therefore... I, I know, yeah. but this is her general attitude. Yes, it is. You don't tell me what to do. I'm like, yeah. I'm pretty sure you're employed here. Yeah. Well, she showed up for the job. She is starting to I, get over herself, taking the I, first I, step. Sure, <laughs> yeah. He suits it so well. It's amazing how well he suits it. He's got range. Yeah. We're trying to cooperate. Shut your mouth. You can't talk to her like that. You trying to tell me what to do? Motherfucker, are you serious? I've heard you sing. Look, they don't shoot you now. Nice. Let's try, buddy. Yeah. Not really in that kind of position, though. No. See, it's all about leverage. Yeah. Do you have any? I don't have my crown. Who cares? I care. Thousands of women all across America care. <laughs> okay. Miss United States always proudly wears her crown. Miss United States, are you trying to get shot? Okay. All right, let's go again. Well, she got the crown. Yeah. Action. <laughs> <laughs> We've been kidnapped. They're going to kill us by Friday at midnight. I don't want anyone to pay them any money. That would be giving in to terrorism. Oh, Shut my God. That's just like, are you fucking serious? Yeah. Cut. And I stand for fairness and decency. You don't speak for me. You know he stopped filming, right? From sea to shining I said sea. Cut. Uh, Seriously. You can put your own life on the line like that if you want. I'd be happy to say it if you like. I've done quite a bit of theater. I played Iago in... Maybe don't try and convince him. Just, shush, shush, Just let it go. Shush, shush. It's okay, man. Yeah. I'm sorry. This dude's fucking outfit is killing me. I'm actually with you. Oh, my it's God. It's not good. Suit, tie, but with a hoodie and that fucking hat and, and you know sneakers. What? Oh, Jesus. I I'm a giant fan of hoodies in general. You know this. Yes. This not killing heel. it for me. Not heel. Yeah. Gracie Hart. I feel as though I'm in the presence of... 
royalty. No, sir, I'm not queen. Just run around. Are you being a dick? Yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna take us seriously here. Yeah. Sam Fuller, Joe Myers, Janine, and Pam. Why don't we get you folks a ride while I give Agents Hart and Fuller a debriefing? It's been months since I've had a good debriefing. Buddy. Although, I'm really more of a boxer's man. Buddy, not the place. In case you forgot, we're implying he's gay. Sure, yeah, but like, read the room. Okay, wrong yeah. audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you realized. Mate. It's not that exciting, my guy. This is Agent Foreman. He's your liaison. He's an agent. Yes, sir. The guy who was just spitting that thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. When my girlfriend found out that I was going to be working with you, she almost died. She actually thought that I was going to fall for you. Now I told her, I said, Janet. Hey, you're buddy. You're sharing. Yeah. We talked about this. Okay. Okay, good. Sorry, sir. You're obviously too old for me, so. There he goes again. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, good. Well, that's a load off. Fucking moron. <laughs> Jail's making an appearance at a senior center where the elderly spend time with kids. I know. I learned a lot from my grandmother. Oh. How to kill a chicken. Isn't that nice? Even though it wasn't something I enjoyed doing. <laughs> hey, you never know. I'll never forget the sound of their death. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? She's so sweet. Oh, God. We got this video from a surveillance camera. We talked to the limo driver, but he says he didn't see anything. And that's it. Right, okay. Press conference at your hotel at 0900 tomorrow morning. I'm glad the criminals this time aren't so bumbling. Yeah. We have to find her. I'll find her. Oh, you'll find her? Yeah. Are you the only person working on this case? Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's how he sees it. Yeah. I know we're on a tight schedule, but if you guys want to see any shows, let me know. Janet can get us tickets. I don't know how she does it. Doesn't sound like the right time. She's really great. Feels like maybe after the mm. mission. Oh, almost forgot. It's nice that he appreciates his missus so much, though. I do like that about this guy. That's sweet. Even if he's kind of dumb. Yeah, <laughs> he means well. He does. Sorry. What? That's a sweater that I bought Janet for her birthday, and that's a hat that goes with it. Oh, She's Scottish. I'm sorry. I'm just really in love. Hey, dude, you are relatively likable, but you need to just say a little bit yeah, less. pull back on the oversharing. Where's the best place for me to throw up? I am thrilled for you, Jeff. But unlike Agent Fuller, I too am carbon-based. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. I do like the spite between them. It's what <laughs> makes the partnership fun. Buonasera. I'm Roberto Fenice, manager of the Venetian Hotel. Oh, boy. Your wish is my I uh, wish you wouldn't kiss my watch. It's not water resistant. Yeah. Fair enough. More action than I've had in months, so go ahead. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. Don't say that to him. <laughs> Miss <Miscuse. laughs> No. Oh, my gosh. It's Gracie Hart. Oh, my God. These oh, people. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, well, at least okay. she's ready for it this time. Gracie. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Gracie. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This. Oh, oh my God. Full of, what the fuck are you oh, doing? Man. He's a grandpa. Dude, are you kidding? Dude. McDonald told me to keep people off you. They weren't even on her. And I don't think Grandpa's coming back. Who is just a nearby old man? They were nowhere near her. Come on. <laughs> Maybe we should have stayed at Treasure Island. Oh, it's the best. There's all these scantily clad sailors running around. Makes me want to join the Navy. You gotta love the whole... Oh, we're gonna imply he's gay. And Dance make fun of it. around it. Yeah, it's, it's weird to see this mid-2000s humor of like, aren't gay people funny for being, being gay? gay? Yeah. yeah. Like, Isn't that just the darndest thing? I see. There's something about Cheryl on the TV. Okay. Going to kill us unless they're paid $5 million. Once again, that's $5 million by Friday at midnight. Oh, uh, Shatner. Oh, <laughs> Will. It's the way he plays it. I have to do something. Do exactly what you came here to do, Hart. Press conference at 9. This is where that headstrong, hot shot, don't follow the rules attitude comes back in. Yeah. I would like to visit Vegas. Just, I just would for not. the experience. I am competitive. Yeah, oh, okay. And I do like gambling. Yeah. I actively really dislike gambling. Yeah. So that would never be a problem for me. I just want to go to see the sights and shit. Don't get me wrong. I have control. Mm. Like, I just don't get into it. Because yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. do I want to lose this money? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Collins. Listen, I was looking at the on-site visuals and I noticed that- We already talked to the limo driver. Don't worry about it, Hart. Get some rest and have a nice press conference. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, okay. You know, yeah. she's still the detective, right? She's going off the books. 
Yeah, well, she has to. Yeah. Hi, is Gracie Hart there, please? I have FBI director. <laughs> God damn. Is Gracie Hart here? <laughs> I'm Gracie Hart. FBI Director Wilson, ASAP. Ah, uh, Director Wilson. Yes, sir, I'm on it. Thank you very much. You're just trying to make him nervous? Yes. <laughs> make him sweat. Yeah. My mom loves you. Aww. She does not love easily. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, no. Oh, that's oh, brutal. No. I'm actually here on business to talk to this gentleman. She told me you're the daughter she wishes she had. <laughs> Mr. Abernathy? Yeah. Oh, wow. What did you do? Hey, bro. All we know is that he was driving the limousine that Cheryl and Stanfields were in the day that they were kidnapped. <laughs> wow. Why you parked so far away from the entrance of the home? Why would you do that? <laughs> Just get in the whole crowd. Yeah, go ahead. Read aloud. Press conference. Speak up. We cannot hear you. <laughs> Read it louder. We're invested. I will be in front of channels two, four. Everybody's invited. And I will probably have to say that Tom Abernathy is a suspect. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, hey, I know this guy. He looks familiar. You are sweating in all three stress spots that people start sweating in before they undergo public humiliation. I had it on Letterman. Fair enough. I love that she's juggling the detective work and the PR work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, he's been in a lot of stuff, but I know him from one day at a time. Obviously, we're talking about the Netflix version. Watch the news. I'll do a little shout out. Hey, hold up. Hold up. Huh. Cracked like an egg. Easily saw that coming. Somebody came up to me the day before. She offers me 200 bucks park far away from the Interest. She? What does she look like? A mysterious benefactor. Oh, Miss Hart, would you mind? Kind of enough. Is it true you're seeing Prince William? Oh, 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 oh. Another guy! We're just talking at a book party. I love how she's learned how yeah. to like do everything on the fly. She's on the move. She's yeah. busy. She's to multitask. You didn't do what was on the schedule. You missed the press conference. Cool. I got a tip from the limo driver. Somebody who looked like Dolly Parton paid him not to park in front of the senior home. Dolly Parton? She's like, if I look ridiculously like this, yeah, you won't picture me looking like something else. It's the perfect disguise because Dolly Parton would never do something so diabolical. <laughs> she's an angel. Why did you go out without clearing it with me? Clearing it with you. I don't work for you. You work for me. You didn't just say I work for you. You work for me. Ow. She doesn't, though. In this particular instance, she kind of is the boss. Uh, the person directly above her is Gracie. She's not They're not equals. Her. She cannot tell her how to run a schedule. Well, it has nothing to do with it. If she pisses off and goes somewhere then, and she doesn't know about it, how yeah, the hell staying she gonna, in how communication, she sure, staying together, that's yeah. fine, but staying on schedule has nothing to do with it. That's yeah. just staying in communication. You are here to help me be the face of the Bureau, which means that you work for me. It's no big <laughs> See, that's not appropriate. Yeah, see, and this is the thing I'm saying. I am your bodyguard. Oh. That means I need a body to Car. So don't hit it. Yeah. <laughs> I could bring you up on charges. Her character is such a disrespectful asshole. I don't work for you. You don't work for me. We're a team. I don't know if I can come around with yeah. whatever her moment is later on. Yeah. As in, I will kick your sorry ass if you don't listen to me. Team. That's not a team. Do you honestly feel it's okay to go around bashing faces in? Yeah, she does. She does yeah. think that. You will never make it if you don't start using your head. You just use your <clears> mouth. Oh, for fuck's yeah, sake. see, that's actually assault. At this yeah. point, I wouldn't be talking. I would kick no. the shit out of this woman. Yeah, actually. And can, to be clear, I'm talking as if I was Gracie Hart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, if you're in Gracie's fantastic shoes. Yes. Yes. That is just a, okay, you're kicked out of the bureau, dude. For what real, What the though. fuck, man? Yeah. What are you doing? You can't treat people like this. It doesn't matter what you think she's done or who you think she is. Violence is not the answer to our problems. Wow. I'm not just saying that because I'm scared of you. Are you? What is that? Are you gonna run? <laughs> she's just gonna walk. Joel, I can't go into public like this. Are you kidding? Joel! Hello? You knocked my highlights off. You know damn well either you deal with the problem or the problem continues. Well, she's trying to call her boss. Mm. I really think we should call the networks and set up another press conference. You know what? You're absolutely right. That's not how I would consider yeah, no. handling the problem, but no. sure. I'm going to go back up to the room. I'm going to get a little spritz and then I'll just... Mm. Dolly. <laughs> Good God. It's her. I'm guessing it's not actually Dolly Parton. It's just yeah. someone who looks like her. Oh my God, if it's actually Dolly Parton, I'm going to lose my shit. Yeah, that would be amazing. Stay away from her. I can act as I please. You leave Dolly alone. Yeah. Also, yeah. You leave Dolly alone. <laughs> Dude, you are not in charge of the mission. Thank you very much. What the fuck? FBI here. I just would love to have a few words. I'm getting so tired of this character. Hi. Hi, how are you? No, I think that actually is Dolly Parton. Get off me. Is it? Yeah. Hey, Dolly, where are you going? <laughs> we didn't see her face. What is it about this outfit making everyone so uncooperative? Okay, well, I'm going to trust because you have seen this. Uh, a long time ago. Maybe I'm wrong. Excuse me, I need you just, uh, just open the door. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Move oh, God, the fuck I out of the way. I hate it when people do that. Yeah. Stop that big Excuse me, excuse me. Like, she's still an FBI agent. Yeah. She's got a lead. Like, it's just the fact that they are treating her exclusively like she's just... Yeah! Oh! 
Basically just a model. Yeah, just a model. And not just a model, but you know. FBI, just a few questions. What is the matter with you? Oh, there you yeah, go. That's Dolly. Actually Dolly. Miss Parton is here to announce her new okay. world tour. Okay. This is not Dolly Parton. No, that's, uh, that's actually Dolly Parton. Look, these are actually... <laughs> oh, 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 hey, stop poking her tits. Dude, it doesn't matter who she is. Don't do that. Why did you run? Some crazy woman was chasing me. Yeah. yeah. And Dolly doesn't know who you are. No. Excuse me, Miss Parton. Here you come again with my wedding song. Oh. I love that song too. You don't get to love that song right now. It's also on CNN, oh. MSNBC, and Al Jazeera. <laughs> How do they have so many camera angles? I want you off this case. You don't have the authority to kick me off this case. Does he not? I think so. Interesting. Yeah. I could call the director a close personal friend. Mm, I appreciate she's got some weight to throw around, but I, I don't think this is how you're supposed to do it. I am the SAC in Las Vegas. And when the director sees you tackling his favorite country western singer, he will back me up. Yeah, that's not a good look. Yeah, I'm going to say for this specific thing, he's relatively justified. Yeah. I want the two of you on a jet back to New York today. Yeah. Do you think you can handle that foreman poor sir he should have listened to her to begin with but that's though. what i mean mm. it's like the build up to it it's just a whole lot of ignoring and disrespect yeah got you the last three seats Janine, ham you're gonna have to take the next one i'm sorry we could go to the bar for five hours yeah okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> nice good times director's gonna call me back any minute you can let him know the chase and dolly was all your dumb idea what happened to team yo you and me in it together uh, don't, don't do, do the that. voice don't do that again don't do that yeah that was before you ruined my career mcdonald said that if I screw this up, then I'm out of the bureau. Thanks, Hart. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I was acting like an asshole, and then they said that I couldn't work here anymore. Yeah. Why would you do this to me? Like, fucking assaulting her wasn't gonna get her fired anyway. There's a lot of reasons this woman could have been fired by now. You don't get to sum that all up as, ah, damn, greasy Hart. Ruined Got my me life. fire, ruined my career. Like, are you fucking kidding? No, dude, you had problems well before she came along. Nobody knows who you are. You're a private failure. Every Everybody knows this. I'm failure face. Get your failure face out of my ruined career face. Right now, I'm mad. When you're not mad. Yeah, when are you not mad and when are you not blaming that on yeah. somebody else? If you're double mad and I am mad, mad, mad. That's great. Fantastic. Back off. Okay, you know, you gotta stop hitting me. Yeah, dude, seriously. Holy crap. You cannot behave like this with people you work with. Who the fuck let her join the FBI to begin with? How does this woman have a job? Yeah, any job. You can still shoot her from here. Yeah, but you're gonna have to lean over me to get to her. It's just serious you, anger you can't issues. Act like this in retail. Yeah, you <laughs> can't even get away with it there. You said that she would have to lean over you to get to me. That's right. Interesting. Look at what the kidnappers are doing. Yeah. This guy is leaning over Cheryl to get to Stan. They were just going for Stan. Yeah. Right. Look at this. They're not even touching her. Oh. She's just stuck in there. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. She is grabbing them. Oh. She's not defending herself. Trying to save Stan. Defending Stan. Maybe they weren't after Cheryl. Yeah, they're off to Stan, and she's actually just trying to help. She huh. just got caught up in it. Stan, what did you do? Yeah. Come on, wake up and smell the ice venti caramel macchiato. Tell Carl. He's not gonna listen to me. And you think I am? You literally just saw the proof. You don't get your miles unless you're actually on the flight cell. Come on. You're on your own heart. No, I'm not. Even though you refuse to dress up or separate those eyebrows, oh. you cannot deny that you have a style. <laughs> okay. Gray suit, masculine shoes, FBI agent. That is all that you have. If you go back there now, you are out of the Bureau. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's fair. Do you have any idea how painful this is? Usually they give an epidural for this kind of agony. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Please. Just. <laughs> Not crazy. That's just the cracked ribs she gave me from before. <laughs> Like, it really hurts in here. Yeah, it's so actually much pain. Pretty specific. It kind of feels like my lung is being punctured. I can't <laughs> breathe properly. Yeah. <laughs> Regina King just plays a curmudgeon too well. Yeah. And to be clear, I love Regina King. Oh, like, yes. This doesn't change anything. No, no, no. If anything, it just makes her admire her more as an actor. Yeah. As soon as we go to the home. What home? The one where Stanfield's mother lived. You're famous. That means that everyone there is going to recognize you. Joel will come up with something to make us blend. He's a born blender. Um, I'm pretty sure Joel's born to make you guys stand out. Yeah, and that's kind of his job. Maybe he's versatile that way. Sure, maybe you can do both. <laughs> versatile. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, he can do both things. He can. <laughs> I never would have suspected. You is a dainty travel pillow type. <laughs> it's hypoallergenic. What are you allergic to? Besides you? Dude, just chill. Fuck's sake. Yeah. Cats, dogs, animal dander, dairy products, dust. Oh, damn. You should be in a plastic bubble. No wonder she's so angry. Yeah, I was gonna say that. All right. That explains it. Oh, yeah. God. You're allergic to everything. You're so angry. I'm not angry. I'm allergic. It just couldn't have been easy being a kid sick like that all the time. Yeah. Not being able to have a dog or a cat or a 
dust. A dust. It wasn't bad. Got to hang out with my dad a lot. We got to watch all the games on TV together, and he taught me how to box. That sounds nice. That's nice. Taught me how to take care of myself. That's sweet. Except for the fact that now I'm thinking you probably grew up with like a multi-sport person. And I'm not into multi-sport people. <laughs> Scum. <laughs> One sport. To rule them all. I'm sure he was very proud of you. Was? I read on your file that he died before he became You read age. my file? Oh. Hang on. Doesn't everybody read everyone's file before they work together? Isn't that being an FBI agent? Is it? I don't know. I would have thought I would have liked a tomboy from Jersey whose mom was an agent. Ah. You read yeah. my file? Obviously. Oh, okay. so to be clear, you think you would. Yeah, background check. Yeah, it makes sense it's, when I think about it. It's the FBI. Yeah. I just want to know who this person is ahead of time. Yeah, sure. It makes the partnering process easier. Sure. Worse, your book. They brought in this writer who managed to turn the entire story into some fairy tale. Made it sound like my mother died saving the country. Wow. Just a drug bust gone bad. Sorry. Hold up, are you just mad because you read her book and thought that she was like the princess of the FBI or some shit? Getting that impression. I like the pictures though, especially that one with that guy. What was his name? Oh, God. The agent, the one that was in the pageant with you. Ugh, this again. <laughs> Fucking Eric. Eric Matthews. Yeah, he was hot. Uh, was he? Mm, wasn't bad looking. Well, from what I can tell, I would have given him a seven. Right? Yeah, seven sounds about right. He looked fine. Just not my type. I guess if he was specifically your type, you could rate him higher. Yeah. But you know, on average, Approaching target. Oh my god. Okay. That's one way. Jesus. Jesus. Ah. <laughs> god, that's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> expression on her face. This is my lovely nurse, Rosie. Hello. <laughs> Not very social, but she gives us a herb enema. Oh yeah. my god. Are you interested in touring our facilities? Totally. Very interested. I can't wait to get rid of her. <laughs> oh, don't you listen to him. He's a mama's boy. Come here, let me fix your tie. <laughs> Such a mama's boy. <laughs> mama's boy's face. <laughs> Do you have a euthanasia program? Oh my, oh my god. god. We just need to fill out some forms. If you'll just give me I'm one minute. Pretty sure even at this point, euthanasia was illegal. Yes. We're going to go in there and ask some questions to see if we can find anyone that can hear. Let's roll, Rosie. <laughs> uh. Hello there. I'm Ada Flamin' Bama. You are? Buster Harrison. Where do we know him from? Don't know. True that uh, Stanfield's mother is residing here? Right over there. <laughs> this is Ida. She wanted to meet you. Oh! oh. I'm so sorry. Go <laughs> give Buster one of your famous foot massages. Hold up. She did that on purpose to get rid of him? While I'm at it, how about one of my famous enemas? Oh. Can you get two of them in a day? <laughs> <laughs> Buster's up for it. I just wanted to come over here and tell you how very sorry I am about the kidnapping. Poor Stanley. But he had it coming. And um, what? Did he now? From what I hear from everyone, he's such a mensch. I mean, who such would... Such a mensch. What's that? It? It's a great fella. Oh. He loved the sluts. He loved the what now? He loved the sluts? The sluts. The sluts. Slots. The slut machine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mostly gonna be doing the sluts. I'm hoping to do some sluts too. You know, when he wasn't doing that pageant, he was here in Vegas gambling. Yeah, that tracks. Right. I begged him to stop. One of these days, gambling's gonna get you in a lot of trouble. I lent him 600 bucks. I never got it back. He was ready to break his legs, and I'm his mother. I'm sorry. Oh, for $600? Wait till those loan sharks get a hold of it. Jesus, woman. This was a while ago. <laughs> Still, I wouldn't break <laughs> someone's legs for two grand. Yeah. It's the loan shark. I just wouldn't break someone's legs. Ida, no, you I can would. walk. <laughs> Praise Jesus. <laughs> Moses. Moses. Moses? Oh, right. right. <laughs> we had a deal, Gracie. Deals are like pearls. They're lovely, but they fall apart all the time. Fucking what? Didn't you hear what Stan's mother said? Yes, I did. Loan shark. We have to get back to the bureau. So you can't on. go to the bureau. You are supposed to be in New York. It hey, why is he so upset? Uh, because... Just Holy shit. Jesus Christ. If you don't go back oh and get God. those CHCs. I appreciate that he's just smiling like, you're yeah. not going to shoot me. He's like, you're not going to fucking kill you me. You won't do it, Gracie. Yeah. Oh, but she, she will. She will. Surprise, motherfucker. She's got problems. Little ebony and I reaction. <laughs> oh, fuck, oh, dude. I can't do it. Please. Come on. Be a man. Yeah, like Fuller. Oh, God. There's so many things wrong with that. Oh, man. <laughs> but this is it. Then we're going to the airport and that's enough. He's going to get screwed over mm. if their bosses find out that he's accommodating them. Or at the very least, didn't tell them that they had not yeah. left. Yeah, I'm you with know? you. Absolutely. I'm putting my foot down. Okay. Well, I guess they're working together. I guess so. 
I don't know how I feel about their working relationship. Yeah. Got some high def tapes for the new ransom video. What? More production value. Why? This guy is an artist, all right? We're gonna kill them and get a little payback at the hotel. Location is everything in Vegas, right? <laughs> Yeah. Treasure Island's gonna be a big, ugly crime site. Oh. Just before the show starts, we tie him up down at the bottom of the boat. Convenient that they're gonna talk about their plan. Right there. Very, very audibly. Yeah. Well, I guess they figure she's not gonna, you know, cause any problems when she's dead. Yeah, it's always, it's always <laughs> I know. the folly, isn't it? I'm well aware, but, yeah. you know. Nice job with that Dolly Parton thing. Took you to finally bring her in. What? Oh, they're busting his balls. Right. I actually thought they were being serious. Same. I can't do this. Remember what Louis Vuitton said? It's in the bag. Huh? Did he say that? Going down like a fat woman on a greased fireball. This guy's just top. Yeah. I heard that. And good thing he was able to get into the conveniently labeled data access room. <laughs> I'm sweating profusely. Oh. I left my oven on. <laughs> Hate that feeling. Yeah. We're printing. Awesome, Jeff. Fuller just lost a bet. Not over yet. Yeah, he does still have to get out, I'm guessing. Betting on this guy's career. <laughs> so not cool. <laughs> Pretty fucked. Yeah. We will not negotiate with these people. Oh, after forcing him at gunpoint to yeah, go through with I, this. I, I, yeah. One choice, and it's to free him as Frazier. Oh, that's his girlfriend. True. No more time, please. Just one more question. Oh no. Huh? Oh no. That's not right. What's not right? No. Oh god. It's Janet. I think she's with. With you? No. Withholding evidence with child. This bitch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with my boss. With college. Woman? Are you serious? Are you kidding? What are you doing with CHCs? Are you kidding me? What about the Miss United States case? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Jeff. Chill. Just gotta get out there. Bruh, you should drag him. Just fucking leave. Check to see if there are any suspects. That sucks so fucking hard. This particular point in time, I don't know how much I would be caring about my job. Right? You know? Do I really want to work under the dude who's boinking my girlfriend? Very openly. What the fuck? He's not even really trying to hide it. I would drag this guy in front of everybody. I would do absolutely everything in my power to make this guy feel as much pain as possible. And then go straight home and dump all her shit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Doing a general database check to see if there are any suspects worth pursuing. Were you two just- Yes. I think he's in shock. Tell him that you noticed on the kidnapping video attempting to abduct Stan Fields. Foreman, I want an answer. Oh my god. I'll fucking drag him. I want an answer. Don't give him the answer. Jeff, what is wrong with you? Are you fucking kidding me? What is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? On the kidnapping video- For fuck's sake. Notice that the assailants were attempting to abduct Stan Fields. Found out that Stan Fields is a gambling problem. Pursued the matter further. Got a lie, Foreman. Foreman, I am waiting. Ooh. This whole thing is killing me. Jeff, tell him the truth. The truth? Foreman, I want you to get a CAT scan. Are you serious? I know, right? Sir, I didn't get this information. Agents Hart and Fuller did. They're not in New York. This dude has had a rough day. Oh. I see why they're just letting him off the hook. Yeah. But fuck this. Fuck this guy. Fuck his girlfriend. Or rather, don't. Can I assume that Agent Fuller is with you? Yes, sir. Joel. Hello, Walter. <laughs> First name basis. I want all of you in the situation room now. I'm sure you do. Please. what I want. I want you in the bottom of a river. Yeah. Concrete actually. shoes. None of this was Agent Foreman's idea. Oh, I know. Got him fitted for a pair of concrete shoes. <laughs> You've really got to do things your way, don't you? Dolce and Gabbana always said we should express our own personal style. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that so much. You're just a loose cannon who lucked into being in the right place at the right time. Buddy, that's not true. Sir, we got oh. another message email. The deadline has been changed. It's tonight. If they don't receive it, I'm going to be dead. Fuck. Bummer. It's my booty on the line. What? Oh, uh -huh. she's nice. nice. Booty, ah, pirates. She's too young to die, and I'm not as old as I look. Hey, Stan, why are you untied in this? We also got this, sir. I think it's because, yeah, it's more about him. It's a mislead, you know? Yeah, I'm seeing this. Ariel spotted a pickup truck matching the vehicle in the kidnapping video. This is real information. That's how we do it in Vegas. Is it? Because it's going to get someone killed. Mm. Put Agents Hart, Fuller, and Joel on the first flight back to New York. Agents Oaken and Hills will be going with you. And if I ever see you in my city again... Really? What are you going to do? I will have you both arrested for obstruction of justice. That. Can he do that? She uh. is still trying to do her job and he is not her boss. I have really had just about enough of your rudeness and cologne. And what are you going to do about it? Call the director? I just got off the phone with him and you know what he said? Did you? You are the biggest mistake he ever made. Did uh, you? No. And he said you have become a liability and an embarrassment. Yeah. Did he say that? That sounds like he's full of shit. I'm feeling the standard, how would I put this? Straight guy entitlement attitude going on here? Yeah. It's the like, no, I'm right. I don't need to check. 
check. Call my bluff, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Of but course. in my head, it's not even a bluff. That's what, yeah, <laughs> that's what I mean. I didn't think that I was going to get so mad at some of these characters. Yeah, a lot of them kind of suck. The way people the, treat each other. The particular way that they suck. Mm. Yes, sir, we're at the airport. Is he mad at me? Does he want to talk to me? Mormon. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Have some self-respect. Dude, come on. It's fucking your girlfriend and you're worried about if he's mad at you. I know. I was looking at your ad, wondering if you have a Dolly Parton performer. I appreciate that she's onto it. Maybe you were right about Dolly. Oh, absolutely. They said the only place that has a Dolly Parton is the Oasis Drag Club. Get on the plane for her. Dude, she's finally starting to help. And, and she's not up for it. <laughs> what happened to that girl from the pageant? Her boyfriend, Eric Matthews, broke up with her and it was absolutely devastating. She did start losing her confidence there. Yeah. Well, that's pathetic. Plenty of guys have broken up with me. You just beat them up and move on. <laughs> what the fuck? This woman is a menace. Only you and Foreman turn it into some big soap opera. Of course, you don't understand how Jeff feels. He knows what it feels like to be rejected and humiliated. Think about this. Yeah, she's doing the thinking. Yep. And to feel your heart ripped open because you got chance on that relationship. Oh, opening up mm -hmm. while waiting in line. Confirming all your worst fears that you are worthless. Yeah. She yeah. shouldn't give up on herself, but she has been through a lot. No, I can see why this specific thing would uh, have an effect on her confidence. Yeah, it's so badly. Matthews was right to dump you. Okay, she's gonna take that back. Get her to stand up for herself the only way she knows how. Yeah, you should learn another way. I know, right? <laughs> All right, well, what's the, what's the fake boobs, the oh grandma my God, boobs? No. And I just have two things to say. We are in a public place, so we have to display a sense of decorum. Second of all, uh, I might break a nail. Ooh. Nice. Take it back. Take it back. Ow. Jeez. Ow. 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 Talk it out. Come on. Please use your words. Something Colin said back there was a bunch of bullets. Talk it out. Now you want to figure out the limo driver was dirty. Cool. They're doing it. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, enough. You're good. Enough of me. <sighs> Thank you, but take it back. Oh, <laughs> I mean, they're kind of acting like teenagers, but you know. Yeah. Oh, God. Whatever. Uh, te <laughs> teenagers don't know how to hit. <laughs> That's true. For the most part. For the first time in a long time, I feel like the real Gracie Hart. They got weird grips on each other. It's weirder is that airport security is not getting on this. My God, sweating like a pig. <laughs> You're right, I feel like a woman again. <laughs> <laughs> good. I take it back, no release. That's such a good line. Yeah. In three. One, two, three. Ah! Oh my god. Guys, ah! let go. Just let go. Uh, they won't be able to kill each other like this. No. They'll both just pass oh, out. Oh, they'll just both, yeah. let go. Absolutely. Yeah. You want to get rid of those fake boobs? <laughs> no? Just okay. fix them up. All right, cool. <laughs> Whatever. Time for the circus to leave town. Come on, girls. Don't speak, bro. I know. You need really, to not just, use your mouth. You stop that. Gotta get rid of these cups, but it has to be subtle. Oh! Woo! Lordy. <laughs> what are you doing? Ladies time. Uh, I have the cramps. I have to... Cool. I mean, I knew she was going for some kind of distraction. I was like, which one? There's one in the plane. So I gotta... I gotta... Forget it, Hart. Guys! I love how she keeps getting told what to do in ways that people can't do that. Yeah. I may change the cabin pressure of that plane, so... You heard her! We got an agent down! We need him! <laughs> I'm not getting those. I don't even do it for my wife. Oh, guys. Wow. Janet like the ones with the daisies on it. You're really not following this, are you? Honestly, if you are one of those dudes who won't buy tampons for their girlfriend. Oh, absolutely. Like, Get your shit together. Grow the fuck up. Yeah. Just really. Tampons. Yeah, he needs to help. Yes, he does. There you go. Give him a couple minutes. Oh my really? God, that's pathetic. That is so sad. But you know what? Very I believe useful. it. Oh, I, I believe I, it too. I absolutely believe it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Oh, guys. Zero one, what do you got? You got shit. That's what you got. No movement. Good to go. So I'm going to guess that they've either moved location or this is just another house that looks similar. Now nah, they move location for sure. It does look like the same house. Mm. Is it a trap or did they just leave? That's my question. I'm betting they left and this is just to divert their attention. Yeah. It's empty. Just like your brain. How'd you know they'd come? Shoppers do traffic reports, but that last one didn't come at rush hour. Huh. Smart guy. Clever. I like how this time they went with the intelligent criminals versus last time where they went with the dipshits. Mostly dipshits. Well, the person at the oh, top was, um... The former pageant queen. She made a lot of stupid mistakes. She did. Her son was dumber, though. But trusting her son is kind of one of those stupid That's mistakes. That's a good point, yeah. Who's the real idiot here? <laughs> you know what I mean? You should know better. I just got a call. Hart didn't get on the plane. No shit. And you didn't get the bad guys. This is more about not being shown up now. She faked a case of cramps and escaped with Fuller. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Really? She's 
just trying to get another bestseller out of this, Walter. Are you guys? This should be your bestseller. Holy Man, crap. you guys are fucking dumb. A lot of assumptions here. Just a ridiculous amount. I want you to find her and arrest them for obstruction of justice. Maybe see a therapist. The fact that you're trying to date your dad is kind of weird. Oof, little bit, yeah. All right, we're in the clear. Where are they? They said they had to get ready for the mission. Not literally, but... No, obviously, but like the position of power oh, situation. for older man. Mm. Who tells me what to do? Yeah. Back to being oh, regular FBI. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This is I'm funny. liking this coordinated look. Classic, timeless. Glad we finally got to <laughs> them getting along, though. I gotta say, I've enjoyed this movie overall, but whoever wrote Regina's character yeah. needed to pull back a bit. Hey, I, I feel like they just hated her. <laughs> Shirley, move it! <laughs> Fuck off, bro. Yeah, I'm rude. doing something here. We're doing a bit. This guy is uh, too short to match a surveillance video. This guy's brothers with this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, we go to the drag club, the interrogator. And if she doesn't cooperate, violence. We have some catching up to do. <laughs> <laughs> then she's gonna call the cops and say that she was attacked by Gracie Hart, and we're all gonna end up in the big house. Hey, he's not so stupid. Yeah. Been waiting for this moment my entire life. Of course you have. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was I do appreciate the incorporation of the drag show into it. I love me some drag. I know, yeah. It would have been nicer if it was treated with more respect. Yes. Not leaving until we find and interrogate Dolly Parton. It was the time. Just don't see why I couldn't be Tina. You don't see that. Are you, you don't. Are you, why? <laughs> like for me when i'm thinking of cosplay things for halloween like what i would do if i had money yeah i don't think of white guys i'm not white yeah of course there's not a lot of asian dudes out there in the superhero game so yeah slim pickings but it's cool have fun with that shang chi yeah. <laughs> i'm not even chinese whoa 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 where do you think you're going the only people who get to go to the dressing rooms are our open micers after they pass round one Step aside, Coco. Ah, uh, you gotta pass round one. Yeah. My very favorite, Liza with a Z. You gotta prove yourself in these things, you know? Yeah. Is this a competition? Not really, but it's just, um, it's a job, you know? Right. People who have been doing it for longer get priority. And some people are new and they're open mic. Yeah. Right, okay, I see what you're saying. Foreman. Jeff Pies. So they have established acts mm -hmm. and room for new people. That's right. Also like any gig. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, cool. I just wanted to talk to you about us. Really? Oh God, no. Is that Liza Minnelli in the background? Sort of. Please don't fall for this. I don't want it to end this way, Jeff. Are you for real? But I still care about you and- Got it. Just give me a call if you get a chance. Well, she's not, and that's the point. She's lying. Uh, <laughs> she's not for real, yeah. She's just literally using her very recently ex because you cheated on her boyfriend. How yeah. little of a heart do you have? I know where he is. Let's move. We want in those dressing rooms. We have to perform. I'm not going out there pretending to be a man, pretending to be Tina Turner. I mean, that is a bit of a head turner, but I mean, sure. well, realistically, you're just pretending to be Tina Turner. Yeah. <laughs> you are Sam Fuller. Nothing and nobody scares you. And I am also Big Bird, and nothing scares me except- <laughs> so Big Bird. Except for being Big Bird? Losing Cheryl- okay. Okay, uh, that yeah. makes sense. Having a friend like her, any friend, oh God. is a really, really rare thing. But I am not singing. This person who I haven't spoken to for like a year. Okay, just be Tina-ish. Oh yeah, 10 months, that's quite ten a while. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. <laughs> fuck my drag, right? Wig snatched. snatched. Bruh. What the fuck? That's that was, not okay. That was kind of rude. You don't do that. And you weren't even using it. You can do Tina. Just take it. Oh my God. No, she really can't. <laughs> Bit late. I was here before him. In alphabetical order. Tina, then Tina. And you're all doing the same song anyway. Hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Smile. Hey. Oh god. Memphis, the pumped a lot of tank. Get into it. But I never saw the goods. Oh, it's miming. Yeah, it's a uh, lip sync. Right. And uh, she's not doing it very well. No, 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 no. We have to stay here. Shake, shake. <laughs> Oh, they're bringing out the hook. Oh, no. He's going to give us the hook. Sell it, Tina. Yeah, you need to pass this round. I the job the there you go. That time. Helps that she knows the song. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's the great thing about drag shows, though. Even if you fuck up, if you play it off as comedy, mm. it still works. Sure. <laughs> It helps that they have choreography. Yeah. Did they steal the choreography from someone else? Are they mimicking a famous performance? I don't know. Because it's weird when people synchronize an improvised right? performance. Yeah, it's, it, this takes a lot of time and effort. Yeah. I found Dolly. Tried to pick me up at the bar and fighting me back to dressing room five. Big people turn it 
So she's actually just singing. Yeah, she yeah. she is. She's just singing along. That works. Cheater. FBI, pick me up. I like how they didn't try and question it. Like, wait, why are you on stage? Yeah, no, they were like, no, no, no. We, don't, we didn't need to ask. We don't need to know. We'll just do the thing. It's yeah. fine. This team is moving on to the next round. Oh, there you go. Well done. I mean, we kind of expected it, but yeah. still. How else is the story going to progress otherwise? <laughs> what do you know about the Miss United States kidnapping? Tom Abernathy paid him 200 bucks to park far away from the entrance. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, they got the right person. They did this time. I don't know anything. Talk to It wasn't me. It was some guy. I met him when I was a keynote girl at Treasure Island. I borrowed some money from him and I couldn't pay it back. Okay. Yeah. He said he would dump me off a bridge. What was his name? Ken. Carl. I don't remember. Shh. He didn't oh. tell me his last. Shh. Shh. Carl. There you go. There you go. Using that fabulous brain. Yeah. There was a Carl Steele on that rap sheet. He was one of the brothers. You said you met him at Treasure Island. Oh my God. Let's the booty. Yep. There you there go. There it is. Where are we going? Treasure Island. That's where they took Cheryl and Stan. Dolly said that the Steele brothers were pirates. All right. Janet is here with backup. Uh, Jeff, where is she? Where's who? I really just shouldn't have taken the call. Uh, yeah. You are a lousy liar, Jeff. Really? Well, and you're a good one. Yeah. yeah. As she, soon as she said, I was like, oh, She would yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. How can we get out here? I don't know, but it has to be subtle. Nice distraction. Mm. Oh, shit. Well, she could have just switched some stuff off, but she no, could she's have. Like, I'm gonna fucking break it. Yeah. <laughs> Both keep your mouth shut or you're dead. Cheryl said something about her booty being on the line. Would never refer to her ass as a booty. Yeah. As soon as she said that, yeah. I was like, mm. that's out of character. Yeah. FBI, we need your car. It's not gonna happen. Get lost. Hard, hard, too much. Yeah, just break his face. Yeah, actually, I'm so sick of douchebags in this film series. Yeah. <laughs> you will get your car back. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, here I come. Oh my god, just like, take it off. Yeah, seriously, guys, it's not hard to take off. Pull up the chin strap. Yep. There you go. What did y'all do? Weld this thing on? Ow! Just take it off. Uh, oh she my can't god. get it off. <laughs> what the fuck? Do as you're told and nobody gets hurt. You know you can destroy the head thing, yeah. right? This is funnier. Yes. Gracie and Sam went to- No. Go on if you don't want to spend the next few years in prison. They went to the bathroom together. Which prison? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, hold up. See, I laughed just at the idea. He's like, I get a choice of which prison I go to. And then I'm like, oh, yeah. it's a gay joke. Yeah, I clicked it up straight away. Everything he says yeah, it's just a gay is joke. a gay joke. Yeah. I'm sorry for getting on you about that whole Matthews thing. I scared him off. Did you? I don't think you did. Thing is, he came back to save me. Why would somebody come back to save someone if they didn't have feelings? But there are other reasons to save people. Maybe he was just doing his job. Man, can't live with him. You can't. Nope. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, me. geez. Well, I mean, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. It is a busy place, I assume. Not often you actually see traffic jams in these kinds of movies. Unless they're in New York. Yeah, true. In which case, it's like staple. Yes. Oh, wow. And those heels, too. God bless. I love how they just ditched that guy's car. Yeah. Eh, he'll get it back. Yeah, it's fine. Probably. It'll get towed. <laughs> Are we gonna die? Not if you develop gills in the next five yeah. minutes. Stan, are you proud of yourself getting her into this? Yeah, I know, right? Let's go back through the casino. The Steel Brothers. Hey, there they are. Oh, cool. Get them. Get them. Freeze, FBI. Hey, have you guys considered ditching the heels? They've not. Oh dear. I didn't even have to wear heels to know they'd be real hard to run in. There you go. Nice. I'm not saying and you yeah, can't. She's making it work. I'm sure she is. It's a movie. <laughs> oh god damn. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. God damn. Fuck him up, Gracie. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna have to aim for the nuts. Now that's the problem with guys like these. They throw their weight around, but can't do much else. Oh, absolutely. That's why you find a weak point. Yeah. Where are Cheryl and Stan? Motherfucker, you are under arrest. Yeah. Where are they? Break up my wrist! Yeah, I that's, believe that's the plan. That's the point. There's a better with a boat! What? Boat! Oh, that boat? The one that just exploded in the background? No, nah, it's um fireworks. Oh, right, yeah. I got this. You go for sure. You sure? I got this. Right, okay. It's true. Big guys actually are pretty easy to take down because the whole super slow thing. I enjoy this. They depend on the, the size. The white, yeah. So the weak points become very obvious. Ooh. 
I definitely remember a rather large guy trying to intimidate me, like, with those knees? Yeah. That's what you want to try and do? And that's one of the weak ones. Go for the knees. Yeah. Anytime you're taking on someone bigger than you, go for the knees. Ow! Ow! Oh, she's doing the... Ah. Yeah. Ow! There you go. groin. Yeah, there see, it is. That's what I'm talking about. Weak points. Hope you weren't planning on reproducing. Ow! Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, she probably did the world a big favor, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know who was going to be sleeping with him, but... That guy doesn't need to be anyone's father. Mm. <laughs> I guess the heels would be useful for breaking windows, maybe? Yeah, sure. I guess she didn't break the window, though. She just kicked the whole thing in. Don't go for Stan first. I know, right? Leave oh, this son of a bitch. Hold on, I guess he's lower. Sure. But still. Stan, just go! Go, go! Stan, just- Not without Cheryl! Yeah. Okay. The back is locked off. Go to the nearest portal, right now! I appreciate the sentiment yeah. of him not wanting to leave without Cheryl. He's not a bad guy, he's just a stupid guy. Yeah, that's the impression I get. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's another stupid guy. Yeah, that's yeah, a convention. <laughs> Come on, hurry! I see. Seriously? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you for Stan, I guess. Yeah. Well, I guess if it was a close call with Stan, we wouldn't care as much. Yeah. <laughs> Help him! Can't swim, sir. I gave you an order. He can't swim. Oh, uh, well, fair enough. Landlocked. But yeah, no, a decent amount of people uh, can't swim because exactly like yeah, you said. Landlocked. Landlocked. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I know. I always forget. We live on the coast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When was the last time she took a breath? Just before. And that's about it. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, I mean, oh, it's. Oh, God, she gets oh, stuck. Jesus. Fucking butt feathers. You're going to have to do some ripping. How strong is this thing? It looks like it was really well made. Oh, God damn it. Oh shit. You gotta use your legs, dude. Leg power. Yeah. Legs are way stronger than arms. <laughs> Hey, go, son. Go, young foreman. Save the day. I uh, just take all the credit now. <laughs> <laughs> I saved her, everyone. This United States. Call me Cheryl. Oh, okay. As uh, soon as she popped up and he went in to save her, I was like, yeah. oh, I know what they're doing. You know what? I support it. I'm cool with it. Yeah, mm. she seems nice. She seems nice. And he seems and nice. And he deserves better. They're both um on the naive, lovable side. Yeah. Man, she's still down there? Damn it. Well, she took a breath, but... Yeah, God but... damn, this thing is strong. Yeah, no, at this point, she's out of air. She's absolutely oh, out yeah, of air. she's fucked. Ah, nice. Hey, you get leg power. Yeah, there you go. Get your legs against the wall and fucking push. She's there you the right, go. She's got the right idea. See? That's how it's done. Seriously, though, Gracie should be unconscious right now. Yeah. Do you ever do that thing where you, like, try to hold your breath with the characters, see if you could survive it? I grew up surfing. Uh, yeah, yeah, fair. The answer is no. Cannot survive it. Yeah. <laughs> so all of our clues eventually led us here. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, of course he's serious. Nice work, Art. Thank you very much, sir. Proud to have you on our team. That's great. Hey, can you yeah, maybe get your hands off me, bro? You should get on your knees and thank her for solving the Crime. Take your little okay, handshake. Okay, 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 right okay, mister. <laughs> Damn straight. Nice. He's like, hey, I'm taking my chance. Yeah. I'm glad he grew a spine about it. Mm. <laughs> Man, she is real chipper. You must be getting really tired of saving my life. No. Well, she's alive. After her harrowing ordeal. Yeah. Thank you for the booty tip. I felt so uncomfortable, but it was an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> she's so wholesome. Oh, that's so funny. And I knew you'd be listening. What are friends for, right? Yeah, maybe you should call more often. Speaking of friends, Mr. Jeff Foreman. Oh, we already met. Yeah, you did. He's a wonderful swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Man. So buoyant. <laughs> She really likes him. Yeah. Gracie. Oh, where did he come from? Yeah. He's materialized behind her. You think he'd be really noticeable? Even without the makeup and my magic, you've never looked more beautiful than you do now. Aw. That's nice. Neither have you. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. It's okay, Stan. I have this weakness. For gambling. I know. I talked to your mother. Does she want her 600 back? Uh, yes. Yeah, she's going to break your legs. <laughs> You just need to stay away from the sluts. Sluts. <laughs> I mean... Hey, you do you, Stan. <laughs> How you doing? Good. You? Good. Thank you. Yeah. For saving my life. Yeah. You, uh, you kicked some popo out there. No? Thanks. Okay. Yeah. You too. Close enough. They're kind of doing the dude thing. Like, yeah. we don't need to talk about yeah. it. Yeah. You did good at the kicking ass thing, yeah. Thanks for coming back. No, that's a thank you. Okay. I don't love you or anything. I know. Just doing my job. I know. It's, it's not gay or anything, bro. <laughs> Fucking... Oi. Why are you gonna make it weird? No homo. God. <laughs> you were saying that stuff back there about not having any friends. Know what you mean by that? Oh, you can relate? Oh. I wonder why. I wonder how that happened. <laughs> oh. You got a friend. Stan. Yeah. <laughs> Agent Johnson over in Mail Fraud. There you oh, go. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Oh, what a dick. Mine was better. Yeah. <laughs> no, but if, you know, that doesn't work out, then... Always got See, so, yeah, the tough thing here with Regina's character, though, is that because of how she was written earlier, yeah, and to how she ended up now, and I knew they were gonna do this, but yeah. it was just 
too abrupt. That's too much. Too she was, much, too quick. She was way too disrespectful earlier, and now she's just super cool. Yeah. I have two things to say. It's a writing problem. I know. Regina oh, absolutely. It off yeah, yeah. The whole way 100% a writing problem. Mm. There's not gonna be a next book. No comment ever again. Fair enough. Yeah. It's like, eight. Hey, we're done. She's out. She's done. The so fucking Foreman's already got the arm around Cheryl. Oh, yeah, he does. <laughs> the word quit is not in my vocabulary. Abandon ship. <laughs> oh, damn. That is how we do it in New York. It took a weirdly long time to fall in, but okay. They had to get the line in. Yeah, of course. At least she got something. Not nearly enough, but something. Part's gonna be partnering with Fuller. Ah. Makes sense. You're my yeah, new partner. <laughs> <laughs> Back me up if someone's shooting at me. <laughs> Not necessarily. <laughs> See, I like the end result. There's something I need to go take care of alone. But again, the... Yeah, it's just the execution mm, stumbled a bit. Pretty heavily. Yeah. Like, I... if they just given a few more legitimate reasons for them to have like yeah. problems. Yeah. But it was kind of out of nowhere. Better reason for her to be that level of aggressive. Yeah. Or at least tone down the level of aggression somewhat. I don't fucking know. Something. I'm Gracie Hart of the FBI. Oh, she came. She came. Isn't that nice? Priscilla was doing a book report on me. Thought I would see if I could be of any assistance. Oh, and she took her advice. She put up her hair and put some clips in. I suppose we can skip ahead to English. Huh? They have the same teacher for everything? Thanks for coming. I promise you it was like that. Oh, yeah. It's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to share with you something I learned just recently. People may care about people who care about themselves. I just don't really care about those people. Not really following you. Yeah, that was confusing. What? Other people's opinions isn't everything. Right. Not super well said. There you are. You can still style your hair if you want to, though. Yeah, if she wants to, but she did it because she told her to in order to make more friends. Mm. Man, people are, like, not going to be friends with you because of your hair. Some yeah. shit like that. They're not worthwhile. Quiet! Put a lid on it, all right? Or I'm going to have to rough you guys up a little bit. <laughs> Fighting is never the answer. <laughs> what do we really want? Communication. Of course, nobody knows because right. this is, like, a thing that everyone should know, but somehow we don't know. Isn't it ironic that we don't talk about how we don't talk? Yeah. Nobody knows. So what do we want? World peace. Oh, okay. <laughs> world peace. That's uh, too complicated. No one knows what that means. It's mostly world peace. Okay. Cool. She snorts too. Yeah, I'm sure she does. Oh, that was fun. There was a lot I liked about it. Obviously, I've already voiced the things I didn't like about it. Yeah, yeah. It sucks because on paper, such a better idea than what they had in the first one. Yeah. Which is like, oh, we're going to have a relationship. Be the center of it. Why? Do we need it? We don't really need a cop romance. Why can't we just do a buddy cop movie mm -hmm. with two women instead? Yeah, it's funny because I remember when the heat came out, I was like, oh, finally, they did a buddy cop movie with two women. But they've already done this. They're and of course, it. it was Sandra both fucking times. That yeah, makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I think Sandra, when she did the heat, was just like, you know what? I want another crack at this. I want to do it better. I want to do, do yeah. it better this time. Because yeah, that's the way I would see Miss Congeniality too. I really like this. There was um, a lot of fun elements, great characters, great acting. But there was obviously a few little writing issues. The main one being Regina's character early on. Yeah. Just the way she didn't have reason. There was yeah. no just cause. Too much with too little justification. She was just taking out her anger on mm. a random person as far as I could tell. And especially you know in, I mean? to such an extent that it was like, how the hell have you kept your job at all? And then the other thing was just the fact that Diedrich Bader's character the entire time was yeah, just, just a gay joke. Just a gay stereotype. Like, a gay person can make jokes, but we, that doesn't mean that every single thing they say is a gay joke. We can look. It's also the difference between making jokes jokes about the gay experience and like stuff like that is the punchline being gay. That's you know? what I'm trying to say. That's, that's the heart of my point. That's yeah. not okay. You're just making fun of someone for being gay and that's not funny dude. Because it's, <laughs> it's the same no matter what it is. Like yeah. if people try to make jokes about me being Thai, I'm like, wait, so the joke is my lineage is from an Asian country? I yeah. don't get it. And then they just wrap it up with a bunch of stereotypes yeah. to be like, oh no, but like, aren't they always like this? And it's yeah. like, um, no. Yeah. No, not really. Oh yeah, it's like, Oh, so you're a terrible driver. I'm like, I don't care about driving at all. There I are, don't drive. There are flamboyant, funny, oh, yeah, yeah, but feminine that, that's not, gay men out there exactly like his character. But that's not what they're doing, that's though. That's not what they're doing here. The point yeah. is that you're meant to laugh at the character. Yeah, you're supposed to laugh at everything he is just for being gay. Yeah, he just exists to be the sassy, supporting friend to the female protagonist. Yeah. It's like every damn time. Aside from those two issues. Other than that, though, solid. Yeah, I would still rate this movie quite highly. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no. And I'd yeah. definitely watch it again. I'm wondering if I like it more than the first one. The things I liked, I liked more. But the things yeah. I didn't like, I, I li didn't like yeah, more. Yeah, exactly. You know <laughs> what I mean? It's a weird balancing point. I think I liked the messages in the first one sure. a little more. I feel like yeah. it was a little bit clearer in what it was going for. Yeah. But overall, really good. Yeah, we had fun. Mm. Good times. Not sure what's coming for the future. But, you know, until next time, you've been with Sam. Steph. We're, we're the, the movie, movie buds. buds.